Hey, what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky, and in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how you can create an Instagram-inspired effect and apply it to a photo in Adobe Photoshop. So to start with, I've got my photo here. Hopefully you've got yours. Now there's a million different ways you could create this filter and hopefully you're gonna have a lot of fun getting creative and playing with all the settings to create something totally unique. But for me, what I'm gonna do with my photo is start by going down the bottom here, bottom right, selecting this symbol and going up to gradient map. So you can see it's inverted the color and done something quite interesting, but not what we want. So if you click anywhere on the gradient, it will bring up the gradient editor. Now for my photo, I'm going to select the white here and I'm gonna make this red. Okay, uh, very sinister looking, very cool. Not quite what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna select the darker color here on the right now and then I can click color and it will let me select that as well. So we're gonna go for another red, but a darker red something like that and I can click OK. Now still looking very sinister but I can tick the reverse box. Okay there we go so now it looks like I've applied a color overlay to my image rather than created some kind of demon which is great. So I can click this again and you can fine-tune this now so if I select this lighter red and then drag this to the right you'll see that some of the the highlights of the image and then the midtones start to become less visible. So you can really use this to fine tune how your overlay is going to appear. Then what you can do is you can select where it says normal. These are the blending options. You can have a ton of fun here selecting plenty of different ones to create some crazy effects. But for this tutorial, I'm going to select screen. So now let's select our gradient map and we'll just turn it on and off to see the difference. That's the original image. And then this is what it looks like with it on. Now, arguably we could leave it there and that looks quite good, but let's do something a bit more creative. So we'll create a new layer and let's just select a nice funky bright pink. And we're gonna select our brush tool and make sure you select something very soft. So one of these default feathered brushes. So you want the hardness all the way down to zero and the size, something, something like this. We want it to be quite big. And what you can do here is simply just click and drag. And just dot various bits of color around. Now, at the moment, that looks a bit rubbish. So we can go again to the blending options and let's try something else, so soft light. So if I just turn that one on and off, okay, that's interesting. So that's, that's applied a uh, kind of pinky hue to the image. I think I'll just bring the opacity down a bit. It's just a little bit strong. And then we could do the same again with another layer. So you can see what I mean when I say there is an infinite number of possibilities for the ways you can do this and what you can create. So let's do something else. Let's do a bit of red. We'll put red right in this corner here. Maybe some down by our arm and a bit top left. I'm just making this up as I go along really. And then you can try some of the different blending options. and just see what kind of effects you get. And I'll just bring that down again, just so it's not too strong. So there we go, I'm happy with that. Now let's just select all these layers with Shift, and then pressing Command G on the Mac, Control G on the PC. We'll put that into a group, and we'll call it filter. So what I can do now is I can just switch that whole group off all as one. So this is our original image and this is the Instagram inspired filter that we've created. 
As always guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Take care guys. Thank you.